everybody welcome uh, with this video I'm playing with the idea of painting a cyclops uh, walking through a shallow river well, semi shallow river and my original conception was him sneaking up on a traveler or adventurer uh, but I've, I've done that sort of thing before and I didn't have a good sketch for the adventurer and it's kind of away from me so what I am doing here is really an exploration of taking an older sketch and trying to revive it. Uh, so I'm reapproaching it with the concept of using somebody's bait, going ahead of the group to lure the cyclops forward into a trap. So I've already sketched in some rough shapes uh, for some people like, down at his knee level with a rope and up above who would be able to attack you know once they have tripped up that cyclops and then somebody running up ahead i'm sketching this out in white i like to do that just to create some contrast with what i'm working in and be able to see my lines clearly and then i'll swap to black later and uh, another thing I'm doing too is not wanting to reinvent the wheel, but just improving some of their shapes. Like what I have, what I thought looked like a giant boulder, uh, ended up really looking more like a potato. So I was trying to improve some of those lines, uh, knock out some of those straight, straightish up and downs, uh, trying to create in more interesting shapes. And you'll see me move around the image. Uh, just to try and move everything at the same pace. And with these videos, my, my goal is really to just bring you guys along in my journey as I you know, explore different techniques, and try new things. I'm really trying to just improve my skills overall. I've had to take a backdoor approach to my art for a while and able to have time to come back to it and found myself to be a little rusty so I'm just trying to uh, get my game going again so to speak. I used to do a lot of black and white and then transition to color uh, in the past and got away from it. I did line art for a while so I'm just trying to get back to some of my better roots I guess I would say and do some value sketches. I've been looking at some new interesting ways of how to color an image, so eventually we will see this go to color. Um, it won't be in this video. I figured a way I would approach it is as I paint and record and I'll create a video, share it with you guys, and we'll just see it grow over time. And you might see me jump around and do other topics, but we will come back to the Cyclops. So at this point, I'm blocking in my uh, party members there. And one thing to keep note, I'm not painting this all on one layer. I've got the majority on one layer. But with these new elements, I'm keeping them separate so I can still manipulate them. Like the girl I've got up front, you can see I was kind of tilting her, trying to get her placement right. Um, and I with the design, I'm playing a little loose. I have the idea of, of her in some kind of dress, mostly so I can just push energy into her figure. I can show she's running, but I really want to have as much energy and flow in her figure in an otherwise static image. And here, you can see I've I'm really trying to push the depth of the image, so that's where I made her larger. I realized, okay, this works. Puts her head right in the middle of that terminus between the light and the shadow on that tilted rock. I liked how that broke up the line there, but doesn't stop the eye from pulling back up to the cyclops. Right now I'm just trying to get a better sketch in for her. It's just loosely painted before, so I'm trying to knock down some final elements. 
in a later video we'll see I'll, I'll even try swapping her out with a different type of character um, as I continue to explore the options here. And just to talk about the Cyclops himself, um, we'll get further painting on him later, but I really just liked his, his bat-like, bat-wing-like ears, so that might be something that I play more into him. I'm thinking about giving him more of like a furry coat, um, so to speak, not, you know, like fur growth on his back and shoulders, kind of like a mane. I really just want to make him different from other more typical Cyclops designs you see. I think this original idea came about because I was watching a lot of Harry Harry Housen uh, movies with Jason Argonauts and Clash of the Titans and, and so on and so forth, uh, the Sinbad movies and really had some inspiration there and I just want to show my, my love for that without actually doing a piece of fan art. I just wanted to capture that. So some of the designs here are going more Greek. I don't know if we'll stay there. We may. I also like the mixed mythology sometimes just to be interesting. So we'll see how this ends up. So here I am kind of sketching in better shapes and some anatomy for the trio of, we'll just call them soldiers for right now, or adventurers on either side holding this tripwire and realistically you've got a yeah, small small gap in, uh, recording there um, but realistically you've got what would be six people in the same pose so creating some different shapes there and to make keep it interesting is really a critical point uh, that way it doesn't just get one day you don't want to just copy paste something here I'm just cleaning up, cleaning up some shapes in the background and now I'm moving on to her just trying to create some uh, shadow and definition to her figure so she's not just lost in a you know a triangle of a dress you see I'm moving her posture around just trying to find something that works give more definition anything to push the energy I find a lot of times I have too much of a static image going on and I've, my last few paintings really been trying to push motion, energy, depth. I'm really eager to get to the cover stage but I'm holding back, staying strong, but I'm envisioning that as I go along. Usually when I paint I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm doing from the start. And again, like I said, my original premise fell away, so um, this is definitely an experiment for me, just trying to find a way to save this sketch, and I'm very eager to see where it goes. So here I am, finally working on the Cyclops again, since first time since that initial sketch. I'm just trying to bring in some more definition to his shape. Um, if I haven't said it before, flipping the image, you'll see me do that a lot. I've got it, that as a shortcut key through the keyboard. And it really just helps your mind catch mistakes or things that just don't look right. Um, it's the same premise uh, if you're drawing on a paper. You hold that paper up to the light, you know, you turn it over, hold it up, and you can see the image in reverse. It just allows your brain to look at something with fresh eyes. Um, and that's that's exactly what I'm doing here. I really felt when I brought in the what's probably a club, might be a tree trunk. Uh, really just brought in more compositional lines and you know, Follow that up to on um, to his head. I've got her head in based on the current orientation in the bottom uh, right 
intersection, you know, that quadrant there, you know, if you're thinking rules of thirds and composition, she's in the bottom right corner and the Cyclops head is in the top um, left corner. And if you haven't picked up yet, I'm slightly dyslexic. So those rights and lefts are opposites. That's okay. So at this point, my thought was I wanted to bring out some of those line art elements and block in some of those uh, shapes for those figures down there. And that way as I paint over them, the line art can come through but isn't a dominating factor. That, that black black is just too black, so I'm trying to keep in the mid ranges right now. And then I'll slowly bring in darker shadows and lighter highlights. Fun thing about doing mythical creatures is you don't have a true reference to anything, especially anatomically speaking. Um, we all know how an eye is shaped and how the eyelid works, but he, everybody has a left and a right eye. Now, having a, a single lid is uh, room for creativity. Um, when designing characters like this. Which is the best part. No one can tell you you're doing it wrong if if it doesn't exist to have that correction there. And you'll see I'm, I'm constantly grabbing values well, color picking is what I'm doing, but from around the image to bring that around, not going in and necessarily grabbing the dark dark gray from the the source, I'm, I'm just pulling it from around the image, that way I'm keeping the values in play with one another and until I'm ready to go much darker for that detail or lighter um, I don't break away from that pattern I do want to take this time to say that if you're enjoying this video, please follow me not just on YouTube, but come find me on Facebook and Instagram. I do post sketches and updates to, you know, work in progress updates, the paintings that I'm working on there. You can find me on ArtStation as well, where I have my final works posted. I do want to thank everybody for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.